Chapter 4 History of Indian Arts What is Art? Indian Traditions of Visual Arts Indian Traditions of Performing Arts Art, Applied Art and Professional Opportunity What is Art? It is a natural human instinct to want to share his experience, wisdom and also emotions. When that instinct results in a beautiful creation, it is acknowledged as art. The artist's power of imagination, sensibility, state of emotion and his skills are the crucial factors at the root of artistic creation. Visual Arts and Performing Arts Artistic creations are of two types, visual arts and performing arts. The Sanskrit term for the first type is Drik Kala and the second type Lalit or Angik Kala. Many examples of prehistoric rock art have been discovered at many sites in the world. It proves that the origin of visual arts is as old as the Stone Age man. Folk Arts and Classical Arts There are two distinct traditions of art, folk art and classical art. Folk art is a tradition that has continued from the prehistoric times. The expression of folk art is a natural part of people's way of living. Hence, its expression is spontaneous. Folk art is created by collective participation of the members of a social group. Classical art, on the other hand, is expressed with an established frame of consistent rules. It needs a prolonged training to master any form of classical art. Style in Art Artists tend to have their own method of working. It is known as the style of the artist. When a style is adopted by many artists over a prolonged period of time, it may become a tradition. Such tradition gets established as an art style. Various art styles develop in every culture which are characteristic of a certain period and region. Such styles are helpful in studying art history. Maratha style of painting Maratha paintings is an example of art style. The style known as Maratha paintings began to develop in the latter half of the 17th century CE. The style consists of colored paintings and they occur as murals and also miniature used in manuscripts. Murals of Maratha style can be seen in the old varas at places like Vai, Mainwali and Satara in Maharashtra. The Maratha style was influenced by the Rajput and European styles of painting. Painting styles help us in understanding various things about the times in which it was developed such as the lifestyle, attires, customs, etc. Indian Traditions of Visual Arts Drik Kala the art of painting and sculpting are visual arts. Art of painting Paintings are two-dimensional. For example, sketches or paintings of nature, objects and individuals. They are done on various surfaces such as rocks, walls, papers, canvas of different types, and earthen pots. The mural of Bodhisattva at Ajanta Caves is one of the finest examples of the art of painting. Folk styles of paintings Rock paintings dating to Stone Ages have been discovered in many countries. In India, there are rock painting sites in the states of Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Uttarakhand, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. The rock paintings in the caves 
at Bhim Betka are famous. Bhim Betka, in fact, is a world heritage site. Rock paintings usually depict human, animal, and geometric figures. However, the style of rock paintings seems to be changing according to the cultural changes from stone ages to the beginning of agriculture. The changes visible in the depiction of flora and fauna, or it may be evident in style of portraying various figures and also in the colors that were used. Black, red, and white colors were used in the rock paintings, which were made from natural substances. With the help of rock paintings, we can understand the knowledge of ancient people about their natural surroundings and also the way they exploited available natural resources. The tradition of folk style of paintings closely resembles the style of rock paintings. Customs such as decorating the house walls and courtyards, that is Rangavali, by drawing various figures and symbols or using panels of paintings to narrate stories helped to develop regional styles of folk painting. It is interesting to know. The tradition of Chitrakati is mentioned Manasolas, a book written by the Chalukya king Someshwar in the 12th century CE. It confirms the antiquity of this tradition. The tradition of narrating stories from Ramayana and Mahabharata with the help of wooden puppets and paintings is known as Chitrakati or Pinguli tradition. The people who still practice the art of Pingul live in a village called Pinguli. They belong to the Thakur tribal community. It is located in the Konkan region near Kudal. The Chitrakati pictures are drawn on a paper and painted in colours made from natural substances. It takes 30 to 50 pictures to complete the narration of a single story. These pictures are preserved very carefully and handed down from one generation to another. The artists and the government are trying to preserve the tradition which is on the verge of extinction. Classical Style of Painting The ancient Indian texts have explained various aspects of arts in great details. There are altogether 64 arts mentioned in these texts. The art of painting is mentioned as Alekhyam or Alekhya Vidya in these. It is said to have six main aspects, that is, Sadange. The ancient Indian scholars studied these six aspects very minutely. They include Rup Bhed, that is, different shapes and forms, Praman, that is, proportionate depiction of various features of an image, Bhav, that is, expressions, Lavanya Yojana, that is, aesthetics, Sadrushyata, that is, a resemblance to reality, Varnika Bhang, that is, color composition, Agam texts of various religious sects, Puranas, and Vastu Shastra texts explain the art of painting and sculpting in the context of temple architecture. Miniature paintings in manuscripts The miniature paintings in the early manuscripts show an influence of Persian style. The Deccan miniature style was developed under the patronage of the Deccan Sultanates. During the reign of Akbar, the Mughal emperor, the Mughal miniature style showing a blend of Indian and Persian styles was developed. Western style of painting In the British period, Indian artists came under the influence of European style of painting. An art school was established under the leadership of James Wales, a Scottish artist, in the times of Savai Madhav Rao Peshwe in Shanivarwara in Pune. He had done a portrait of Savai Madhav Rao and Nana Fadnavis. Gangaram Tambat, a Marathi artist who worked with Wales, 
deserves a special mention here. He had made drawings of the rock-cut caves at Verul and Karle. Some of his drawings are preserved in the Yale Center of British Art of Yale University. Gangaram Tambat with his Guru Exact portrayal of the object of the painting is characteristic of the European style. A number of renowned artists were trained in the JJ School of Art and Industry, which was established in 1857 CE, offering courses in European style of painting. Pestinji Bomanji, an alumni of this school, made replicas of Ajanta painting. Sculptural Art Sculptures are three-dimensional, such as images, statues, pot, and objects with artistic embellishment. For creating sculptures, either rock or metal or clay is used. Rock sculptures are made by carving, metal sculptures are made with the help of molds, and clay sculptures are formed either directly with the hands or by using molds. The entire temple of Kailasa at Verul is a unique monolith sculpture, that is, it is carved out of a single rock. The lion capital of the Asokan pillar found at Sarnath is the national emblem of India.